Some of you guys have probably seen me do this, but I uh, figure, you know, give those new folks a little walk around on the machine. So this is our 760. We make multiple sizes of machines, bigger than this, also smaller than this. Um, we make single speed and two speed machines. Uh, but the general concept of the machine, no matter what the size is, uh, is, is the same. So it's hydrostatically driven, got hydraulic wheel motors on all four wheels, uh, and different drive modes to control your traction versus uh, ground disturbance. So you can see you've got the turf tires on here if you're working in someone's backyard and you know don't want to tear up the grass, don't want to deal with putting down uh, turf mats and all of that. These machines are designed to run on people's grass without tearing it up. Uh, they articulate to steer, so right in the middle point here, you can see our hinge points. That is the same concept for all of our main machines, bigger and smaller. Uh, we, all, we all have the engines in the rear end. And like I said, it's a hydrostatically driven machine. So all the engine is doing back there is spinning hydraulic pumps. So you've got... We've got a diesel engine, and almost all of them, our larger ones, run a fuller KDI engine, like you see here. Uh, our smaller runs, ones run some version of a Kubota diesel engine. Uh, and in front of the engine, kind of in the center point of the machine there, is where the hydraulic pumps are. They develop the pressure that runs the wheel motors and runs the boom on the front side of the machine. So I'll take you up there and show you that. The boom on the front side of the machine is offset to the side. We offset the boom, you can see off to the left side here, that way when the boom comes up, the operator still has good visibility to the attachments, to the work area, and to the fellow workers. The boom itself telescopes out, gives you about another two feet of reach. And attachment-wise, we make over 200 different attachments that you can put on the machine. So anything from grapples, to timber grabs, to buckets, to forks, to rotary brooms, all over, all over the board. Uh, and probably one of our most popular features is how we do the hydraulics. So we use a quick coupling system, allows you to release your hydraulics, and attach your hydraulics. Very quick and easy, no uh, relieving pressure out of the system, the machine can still be running. Uh, so it just makes it really quick and easy for switching between your different attachments. Uh, and the last piece then would be the operator station here. Uh, nice and easy to get in and out of the machine. When you're sitting in the machine, you got a Ford and a reverse pedal down on your feet there. Uh, basically feather the pedal to control your speed and torque. We've got all of our controls over on the right hand side here for controlling the boom, any of our auxiliary functions, the telescope feature on the, on the boom itself, and then pilot control sticks up in front of that that gives us the ability to feather those controls versus a quick on and off on the buttons. So gives the operator the option of speed or finesse depending on their application. Um, What's a quick, uh, here, let me come around here. Yeah. What's a quick overview of the controls? Yeah. Because what, one of the pieces of feedback that we've received is that the controls on this machine are labeled very well and they're very easy to use. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so control wise, up on the front side of the dash here, it's just all the gauges, uh, you know, fuel, temperature, RPMs. We've got a small bank of switches down below the gauges here. This is where we can control our traction. So we call it a, a locking valve. So essentially when this is off, it's a two wheel drive machine. When this is on, it's still a two wheel drive machine, but it's limited slip, kind of like a locking differential. We've got our lights running off the front side of the machine. Floats 
an option that can be added to the machine that allows the boom to float on the surface of the ground. And standard on all our machines is a heated seat. Um, just a little finish flare that we like to do. Uh, and and that, then, that's standard on that's standard every on model. Machines. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, horn button. And then like I was saying a little bit ago, on the joystick here, we have buttons that allow us to control the auxiliary functions off the, off the boom for attachments. So we can use those buttons. The rocker controls the boom in and out, the telescope feature. And the additional buttons up here would control multiple functions. For example, if you had our timber grab that will rotate mm -hmm. and then it will also open and close, these buttons allow you to control both of those functions at the same time. The red trigger on the joystick is where we get full four-wheel drive, so you squeeze and hold that button. Now all four hydraulic wheel motors are driving. So we keep that more of as an on-demand versus locked in at all times. It's really you don't need four-wheel drive all the time. You just need four-wheel drive to get unstuck or to push into a pile, something like that. Um, and then the sticks down here <clears throat> excuse me, are what control the same functions that are on the button, or excuse me, up on the stick on the buttons, but allow you to feather so you can control how fast you want those to move. So telescope boom, auxiliary hydraulics. We have a detent in here so that if you were running an attachment that had continuous flow, like a, a rotary broom or a snowblower or something like that. This lets you lock it in so you're not having to sit there and hold the button constantly. <clears throat> and the last functions down on the bottom here would be, you know, some additional, this machine has a two speed. So we have our turtle and rabbit. Turtle gives us full torque at half speed. Rabbit gives us about half the torque but full speed in the machine. Uh, additional work lights that are up on the cab up here. There's two of them on the front side of the cab, one off the back of the cab, which is real nice, you know, so you got good illumination behind the machine. Uh, and then the last one is a uh, park brake. So the machine does have spring applied hydraulic release brakes on the front side for the two front wheel motors that are always active. Uh, the park brake gives you the ability to lock all four wheels so that if you were on an incline or something, you can actually physically keep the machine there. Um, that pretty much does it. Thanks, right on. guys. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Tony. Yeah, absolutely.